Hey everybody, we are about to go through the Edmonton and area relocation market stats. My name is Leanna Martins, uh, local Edmonton real estate agent, and we are going to go check out the week of February 19th through February 26th. This is the only place on the internet. If you're considering a relocation that you're going to be able to find the information you care about. So that's going to be Edmonton market stats, but the surrounding area. And I go through the new home construction market stats because I know that's something that you care about. I would also suggest you stick around all the way to the end because I'm going to take you on a tour of a new sold home so you can see where is it, how much does it cost, what am I going to get for my money, and how much of list price am I going to pay. Hey, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. My name is Leanna Martins, a local Edmonton real estate expert. Subscribe below if you're new so you don't miss anything. And if you're considering a relocation, make sure you reach out to me and my dream team because that's exactly what we specialize in. We are here to make sure that you have less concern, less worry, less uncertainty, and more confidence. So without any further ado, let's get into the Edmonton local market stats first. So this is the all residential Edmonton uh, market stat. So it's detached, semi-detached, townhouse, and condominium. So you can see that the sales are strong and this is up from last week. So this is gonna be reflective in the new home construction market stats as well. So we've got 7% stronger, higher prices uh, week over week, and then we've got 6% more listings. So. Uh, that's actually good because our listings were down. Our listings were not. Our sales were outpacing pacing our listings, which um, basically just chews up more inventory and then it makes it more competitive for buyers. So this is better because it's showing that there's more inventory going on the on the market. Uh, and remember that this is resale. Um, so let's look at the new home inventory uh, sold map next. All right, so we got 54 souls, my friends. So we are back up. Uh, last week was, uh, I think, 52, 49 to 52. So holding strong and the numbers are increasing in terms of sold. So remember, this is new home construction. So this is anything that has been built new. And uh, this goes out to <laughs> St. Albert, Spruce Grove, Stony Plain, down south, Leduc, Beaumont, and Sherwood Park. So this is Edmonton and area because you it's important for you to understand, you know, what are your choices, what are the options, what are the trade-offs, and what makes more sense? Because if you head out, out to Spruce and Stony, out to Beaumont and Leduc, you can save anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand dollars. But the trade-off, of course, is the location, time, uh, and as long as you're satisfied with the amenities that that city offers. So uh, now let's have a look at the actual sold prices, shall we? So this is out of the 54 solds in the last seven days in Edmonton and the area. The averages, there's 39 in Edmonton. So the bulk of the inventory sold in Edmonton and the average price point in Edmonton this last seven days was 517. And builders were getting 97% of their list. It averages 98. Um, but I really want you to understand that you can't go, like it's good to give you an idea, but let's say that you come in, we're shopping for you, and we end up with something specific like this. This person ended up paying 100% of list price. This one was a, it's 100, 100, this one was over list. Uh, right now you're gonna see less over list. Most have some nego no negotiation room, but I would say maybe 20% of these Edmonton souls in the last seven days, there was no negotiation. So it's critical you find a good realtor so they understand, they've got the relationships, they know where they can. You know, I mean, they're all, always trying, but if they say that there's no negotiation use and you're in a competing offer, for example, and you don't listen, guess what? Unfortunately, you're the one that loses because uh, the other person that offered uh, the highest and best is the one that got that property. So. The average days on market are extraordinarily high there at 76. That means that there's one or two outliers. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so now let's go into Leduc. Leduc, 102%. Check that out. Um, and average price point there is 536. 43 days to sell. Spruce Grove, 442. It's a little on the lower side, so probably more row homes and duplexes there. The average price point there was 99% is what builders got. And they were selling in all around a month, 36 days. 
St. Albert, 542 at 98%. That's typically the average, like I said, and 108 days to sell. Uh, we've got one in Sherwood Park. It was list price that was paid and sold in 30 days. So the overall 98% for all of the average and about 519 sold price. Now let's take one of these and we're going to go on a sold tour and check out what you're going to get for your money and see how much of list price that person paid. This is a Spruce Grove property and this is a half duplex. So the reason that I pulled this up is because I want to take you on a tour of a duplex specifically in these kind of outskirts communities because like I just said, you can, so any, in Edmonton, this is gonna be 440 to 450, we're gonna say on average. So from 379 was list price, this buyer paid 377. So you can see that's about 99% of list price. It's a 1500 square foot uh, half duplex. And um, well, let's just take it a tour. We'll chat, we'll chat about it as we go. So this is the exact identical floor plan. You're gonna find exactly the same, right? Main floor, half bath. We're already going into the second floor. You've got second floor laundry. You're gonna have two baths. So there's your bathroom as soon as you walk up. And then to the left, we've got, the rooms look like they're a reasonable size. You're gonna have yeah, two baths. You've got your two kind of smaller size uh, bedrooms and you've got storage, there's your master. And then you've got a walk-in closet and you've got your own ensuite. And that's it. So let's see if there's anything more. Yeah, there we go. There's a really good picture of the main floor. So like I was saying, this is a really standard floor plan that you're seeing everywhere. And the next piece, I think when you're considering a relocation is you're wondering different builders, different floor plans. I mean, moderately different floor plans, but in terms of their base, if you're looking at a production builder, um, any one of the, let's say the top 10, 10 production builders, which is large scale um, production builders, you are gonna see a very little variations between the two. Um, things that you really can shop are gonna be what their standard package are, standard packages, what um, types of, uh, promotions that they may have and promotions particularly to they're actually there's some that are doing window coverings now uh, but the truth is, is you don't pay less all they're doing is they're just increasing the price and bundling it really for convenience so you pay for it anyways in most cases uh, basement completions uh, appliances uh, and some landscaping fences universally you will have to do on your own and then sometimes you can negotiate a deck Again, totally depends on a realtor that knows what they're doing and has a lot of experience and trust them. So that's your main floor and there we have it. So I think that there is, it's worthwhile from a price standpoint, depending on what's important to you and your family. So thank you for coming on that home tour and really just thank you for sticking around throughout. I really hope that I educated you and I'm teaching you uh, about local Edmonton real estate, about resale, about new home construction um, and locations and prices and just helping you navigate this new uh, territory that you are entering. So if you uh, need any help with relocating, the dream team is here. Go down, reach out to us. That's exactly what we do for you. And subscribe if you are new and you haven't done that yet. Make sure that you do so you don't miss any more of my stuff coming out. And um, if I really want to know what you want more up. So comment below so I know what I want to produce to, to meet your needs, friends. Okay? So I will see you in the next video. And again, thank you so much for hanging out with me for this last little while. I'll see you soon.